On this batch tonight, your layout photos, the question of the week, and a big shout out. Coming right up. You're watching Dispatch, the weekly variety show for model railroaders. I'm Roy Smith. Thanks for joining me. As I said, we have your layout photos, the question of the week, and a big shout out on tonight's show. But first, this. In recent weeks, I have failed to post Dispatch and layout updates as frequently as I did in the past, and some of you have commented on this. I have to tell you that my video upload schedule has been derailed by health issues, namely peripheral neuropathy. I want to get back on schedule and I hope to do this very soon. In the meantime, I appreciate your patience. Now then, first up on the show, your layout photos. You have posted a bunch of photos of your layouts in our Facebook group since the last edition of Dispatch, and here they are.
After the show, go over to the Facebook group and post a photo of your layout there because we want to see what you're doing on your layout. I will put a link to the group down below. As always, you will know you're at the right place when you see this photo at Echo Canyon on my layout. If you posted a photo but didn't see it here tonight, watch for it in the next edition of Dispatch. And now it's time for our question of the week. Here's this week's question. Is there something you'd like to do on your layout but you are hesitating to do it? Why are you hesitating? Here are some of the things you said that you are hesitating to do. You are hesitating to begin building a layout because you still haven't found the perfect track plan. It's amazing how many of you mentioned this. You are hesitating to make changes to an existing layout because you aren't sure if it will be an improvement or not. To build multi-levels on your layout because it may be too much work. To build a helix because it's difficult to do. To do or redo layout wiring because you hate to do wiring. To balance the track on your layout because it's boring. To convert to DCC because of its learning curve and the cost involved. To weather rolling stock for fear of messing up your trains. To add details to your layout because it can be painstaking. And to build scenery because you feel you may not be pleased with the results. And here are some of the other reasons you gave for hesitating. You are overwhelmed by all the clutter in your layout room. You lack the proper tools and materials to do a good job. You're hesitating to complete your current layout because you're thinking of building a new layout to replace it. You're hesitating because of a possible move to a new home. You're hesitating because of your age or health issues. Or perhaps in broadest terms, you're hesitating because you feel you lack the time, money, skill, or space that you need for the hobby. In model railroading, it's not easy to overcome hesitation. But if hesitation is stopping you in your tracks, remember, hundreds or even thousands of other model railroaders have already done the thing that you would like to do. They have overcome their hesitation, and so can you. If, for example, you are hesitating because you haven't found the perfect track plan yet, just put down some track and get some trains running. Track plans aren't chiseled in stone. You can always change your plan later on. Or if, for example, you are unsure about which scenery technique to use, you can try various techniques off layout. Ask yourself, what is the worst that could happen if I just go ahead and do it? After all, anything you do on your layout can be redone. But don't beat yourself up if you find yourself hesitating because it's just a hobby and it's supposed to be fun. Now, I would like to thank all of you who responded to this question. Remember, when you respond to a question, you're sharing the hobby. And sharing the hobby may just be the best part of model railroading. Now, we do have a question for the next edition of Dispatch, and here it is. Have you ever expanded an existing layout? If so, how did it go for you? Was it a big improvement to your layout? Tell us about your experience with it. Please post your responses to this question in the comments section down below. I will then share your responses right here in the next edition of Dispatch. Here again is the question. Have you ever expanded an existing layout? If so, how did it go for you? Was it a big improvement to your layout? Tell us about your experience with it. Now it's time for tonight's Big Shout Out. And tonight's Big Shout Out goes to Don Soret, his HO Scale Portland and Ogdensburg Railroad, and his YouTube channel, Happy Hobo Trains. Don's layout is set in central Maine in 1960. His channel features tours of his layout and layout tips. Don is the former owner of Happy Hobo Trains in Tampa, Florida. Let's go take a look at Don's layout in a short clip from one of his recent layout updates. 
Welcome to the in-depth tour of the Portland and Ogdensburg Railroad Part 2. The trains entering the mountain division through that tunnel portal we just saw begin a grade of just over 2%, or a quarter inch rise per foot of travel, and return to view about five inches higher than where we started in Portland. They continue the climb past the Mount Willard dwelling and into the helix. After completing four turns in the helix, the trains reappear at the gateway of Crawford Notch at the top of the grade. There is a pass track here at Crawford's which will hold the 10 car train plus locomotive and caboose, as well as a siding for local freight. Track separation from the lower to the upper deck is approximately 19 inches. Now that we've arrived on the other side of the room, this is an opportunity for me to pan around a little bit and you can see how the layout fits into the room. This is a peninsula that runs roughly 45 degree diagonal across the room from corner to corner. This is St. Johnsbury Yard in the foreground. You can see Commercial Street on the lower deck. The helix in the distance. Now I hope you will go over and take a look at some of the videos on Don's channel. I will put a link to his channel down below. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. I will also put a link to the Facebook group Happy Hobo Trains, which features Don's layout. Don, I really like your layout. Thanks for sharing it with the rest of us. Now then, my most recent layout video is called How I Built the Railroad Complex at Evanston. In this video, I tell you step by step just how I went about building the railroad complex at Evanston on my layout. The video features short clips from each of the 22 episodes in which I built the complex. If you still haven't seen this video, I will put a link to it down below. Go watch it after dispatch ends tonight. The techniques that I show you in it may be useful as you work on your own layout. And I want to remind you that there are tons of other videos for you to watch right here on this channel. I will put a link to my videos page down below as well. Or to make it easy, you can watch these videos over here just by clicking on them. Well, thank you for letting me share the world's greatest hobby with you here on Dispatch tonight. I'm Roy Smith. Until next time, happy railroading.